Welcome back to this Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Last time, we uh, finished with Onderon and Duxon, at least as far as we can go for now. Um, we made ourselves very unwelcome on Onderon, and uh, we've done some running around to uh, gain some influence with Mandalore, but I, honestly, I don't really expect to do much more with Mandalore. You don't get anything out of gaining influence with him, just a couple more conversation options, and honestly, I think I've recorded enough conversation in this game uh, for this Let's Play. And there is far more conversation than combat, as far as content of this game. So, let's head to Korriban. We've hit the ground. This is Korriban. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? It seems quiet. Just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. There's great power in this place. For those who can hear its call. There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed Sith contain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. All right, let's head out. If you walk Korriban's surface, you shall walk it without me. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains. I shall contact you and provide guidance when needed. The Academy is on the other side of this valley. Be careful. Dark energy fills these ruins, and even the fallen Sith live still. This area is actually a little bit boring. Um, honestly, if there's a, f a weakest of area in Knights of the Old Republic 2, it's this one. It's fairly short, fortunately. Now, I can't take Kreia, she's usually part of my party. For variety, I'm going to pull some, pull along some people I haven't been using very much of, uh, Disciple and Visus. The structures you see around you are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith Lords. Each tomb was once infused with the history and heritage of the old Sith Empire, containing great mysteries and powerful relics of the Force. However, even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. And so these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. I'm going to off-screen gain my levels on my party members. I don't actually have anyone in this party set up that has decent demolition skill. I'm not going to worry about it. I think I have enough, actually, from just stat bonus item, uh, skill bonus items to do it myself, even though I only have one point in the actual skill. Anyway, when you uh, pick up one of these corpses... The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. Well, we're not going to follow that advice. Fools! You've disturbed the spirits of this place, and they have sent their guardians. Hisses are semi-intelligent beasts, corrupted and strengthened by prolonged exposure to the dark side. As creatures of the Force, they have a limited ability to mask their presence. Hisses are drawn to suffering and carnage. They must have fed on all the corpses left over from the war here on Korriban. The angry phantoms of the Sith, too weak to influence the sentient, have taken these Hisses as thralls to their will. Anyway, their XP as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> So every time you loot a corpse out here on the surface, you get attacked by a couple of them, but they're worth good XP, so I'm all for it. You have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! You have left me an opening! Maybe there's a reason I left a disciple out of the party. That you have left me an opening. You have left me an opening gets old. Fast. 
This way leads to the tomb of a Juntapur, a fierce Sith Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, leading to his demise. Okay, and Kreia will tell you about each of these tombs. Two of them, I'll only deal with two of them, just because one has a uh, body in front of it, and the other, this one has an, uh, some additional dialogue. Ajanta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of Ajanta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. And this is an assumption based on if you set Revan to be uh, light side, then this conversation will happen. If Revan is dark side, through you know your conversations with Atten very early in the game, then uh, this conversation will not happen. If you have awareness, you can point out that Kreia sounds like she disapproves. One who has fallen so far and done so much evil does not deserve redemption. In a way, such a turning from one's nature is cowardly, a betrayal of the self. And, you know, you can do the typical light side, no one was beneath redemption. Perhaps. But redemption is a form of spiritual collapse, a fall few recover from. And you get some light side points. If you actually needed influence with Kreia, you get a little bit of it there. But I've had maximum influence with Kreia for a long time, so... Before you is the tomb of the great Sith Lord, Marka Ragnos, a half-breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically and in the Force. And there's actually a um, bit later on this area here, listening to Kreia's history lessons, which uh, helps you a little bit. It's not super important, but... And honestly, it's this little quiz they give Sith uh, students, and it has a certain amount of, sort of, you're gonna have to look at a guide for some of it, unless you've played this game obsessively. Unnecessary observation. Targets acquired. Annoying recitation. Let us proceed to facilitate communications. Recitation. And bring about the termination of hostilities. I don't think th there might be one more group of these. Guys, but we're running out of places to run into them, frankly. You have left me in a failing, master. And you know, while we're all set up and still in combat, we'll uh, summon another set of sis. You have left me in a thing! You have left me in a thing! That one actually had that Anaichani Viper Sword, which is actually a fairly decent uh, piece of equipment. Not uh, anything super special, but hey, you know. Listen, the wind from the cave tells of great power within, recently awakened. The valley we just came from was full of dark energy, but this cave is darker still. There is great power and dark energy within this cave. I would advise you to finish your explorations within the Academy before venturing into the cave. You can either do them, you can do them in either order. It doesn't actually matter, but... Much of this area is actually, you know, repeated from the first... Defend yourself! Not verbatim. It looks a lot, it's in much worse shape than it was, but there's a certain amount of just sort of copy-paste. Um, like Dan Tween, there, there are things you'll recognize, but they weren't just sort of taken verbatim from the first game. And, I don't know, there's some things, you know, laziness to that, but it's acceptable, you know, because it's not exactly the same thing. And there's enough new content, so it's not like they just copy-pasted the entire thing. We have 
haven't seen him in a while. She is here. Find her. And the door conveniently locks behind us. Note that you can actually come here far earlier. You have left me an open. And, uh... Winning. It's really not recommended. This part of you the area doesn't really matter. You can do... You could do this part of the area immediately afterwards. But the cave... There's part of the cave you can't do until you're higher level. So... There's not much point to coming to Korriban early. You could do it, I guess, if you just want a variety. At least these guys are, you know, haven't fought them in a long time. Well, I guess I fought them on, on Duxin. Uh, but these guys are nowhere near as strong as the ones on Duxin. The Sith Assassins are fairly resistant to Force powers. Um, not immune, but they don't uh, really uh, let you use very much. It's mostly just hitting them. And apparently that bag there was from some looters. probably ran out of students to eat quite some time ago. My life is yours. I've been giving Visas the uh, security skill just for things like this, so if I have an area where I don't where I think I've got demolitions covered, I can at least uh, have somebody with Is a, a uh, Wookiee from the first game. So there's a bunch of items in this game which are essentially shoutouts to uh, the um, to the the first game. There's a Bindo's band, for example. But uh, this door here is locked and cannot be opened. Well, it's been sealed shut. We'll need some of the permacrete charges to, to get in. We used one already on Duxin. If you look around, I'm just cycling between targets. See this? Sith Assassin? Sith Assassin? Oops. I, you can actually see some of them before they do. I don't know if that's the awareness still working or if that's just the game being sloppy. You can't actually target them until they go red. And they never drop anything. That data pad we found just a little while ago, there was one that was essentially talking about the sealed door, and there's one that was talking about the uh, students here at the academy, and it says, apparently in the, the uh, closing days of the academy, they ran out of instructors, and it's mostly just sort of do-it-yourself, um, read the books, and uh, take the tests. So we're going to have to create a new user ID and uh, learn how to be a Sith. But we'll have to wait until next time to do that.